Oh, what's up guys welcome to yet another video i am gaston mapala today let's have a look at grade 11 number patterns i know you guys you are going to write exams and then this is the last chapter on this term and also measurements as well all right so let's have a look at uh, this one here quickly uh, we have got two patterns that you guys need to know in grade 11 we have got a uh, arithmetic sequence uh, we've got arithmetic sequence and then this one uh, your teacher would also call it linear all right and then we also have what is known as quadratic uh, sequence as well we have got quadratic sequence the purpose of this lesson guys is just to let you know what is important on this chapter so that you don't struggle as much and then also if you watch this video until the end i don't think you are going to struggle with this chapter at all all right so now here on the number patterns we have got arithmetic sequence which is also known as linear this one how do we see it we see it by having a constant difference okay this is the one that it has got a constant difference you will see now as we proceed what i'm talking about so one thing first that you need to know here you must know the general formula which is tn is equals to a plus n minus one in brackets d all right so what does this mean in this formula here this is the general formula so you must know this one all right so you're gonna use this one okay let me just make it make this one a little bit smaller because it looks a little bit bigger but it's sitting here all right so here a refers to the first term of the pattern this refers to the first term of the pattern and therefore also d refers to the common difference in that pattern all right this refers to the common difference in this pattern and how do you get this one you get this one by saying t2 minus t1 or you can say t3 minus t2 no maybe you're a little bit confused what do we mean by this tn and t minus 1 and t minus 2 this simply means the other thing that we need to take note this refers to in this formula here okay we've got that one we got that one we understand and then here in this formula we have got n n refers to number of terms n refers to number of terms number of terms that you have on that pattern and therefore we also got tn tn in this case refers to term so it could be any term so this one is tn so it's going to be term n if i may put it like that so what does this mean this means if you've got something like this t6 this means also this is referring to term 6 all right or term at number six all right so now i hope you guys understand most important thing we need to understand this general formula here i hope you guys i think you have this on the formula sheet please let me know let me know on the comment section because most of my learners are saying when you write exams there is no more formula sheet please confirm for me that as well but this is the formula that you need to know you need to understand a a refers to term number one and then d refers to the common difference in the pattern and therefore n refers to the number of pattern tn refers to the term n if it's written like this and then it says six therefore that's term six i think maybe we can do an example here let me see if i've got a space yeah example would would say let's just uh, do one example here for the sake of understanding this concept we are given a pattern here 5 9 13 and 17 so therefore what does the difference say the difference say you must say term number okay let's say this is term number one this is term number two this is term number three therefore this is term number four all right hope you guys are following let me know what you think uh, of this video and how i can improve the lessons all right so now nine is going to be nine minus five which gives us four and then 13 minus nine 
gives us 4 again and therefore 17 minus 13 gives us 4. Okay, we already know that if we have got a common difference, therefore this is a linear pattern. That's how we identify this pattern. Yeah, we already explained that. Excuse me. Okay, so now when you look at this one here, the, let's see now we have got a common uh, difference there and that's how you would get it let's say the x question comes now they said find uh, tn or they might say find the general formula of this pattern general formula this is how they might ask you all right let's go ahead if they say that therefore we can use our formula here tn is equals to a plus n minus 1 d right so therefore what is a in this sequence we know a is equal to 5 and therefore what is d we also need d here d is equals to 4 now we can go ahead and substitute into our formula here a is equals to 5 plus yeah, in this one n minus 1 is equal to d the only thing that we need to do now is to remove the bracket 5 uh, and then we are removing the bracket by multiplying with 4. 4 times n is going to give us 4n. Then 4 times negative 1 is going to give us negative 4. Therefore, when you simplify this, we're going to have 4n is equal to plus 1. And therefore, that would be the general formula for this pattern. I hope you guys understood this, but I'm going to do more examples with you guys. I'm going to link a, a video. At the end of this video, there'll be a link showing you more videos. All right. And for now, let's move on to a quadratic pattern and let's explain it in full detail in this case. All right. Let's move on. Quadratic pattern. Quadratic pattern refers to the pattern that has got a general formula of tn is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c. All right. Therefore, this is the general formula for quadratic pattern. Please know this. Understand what each and every term means in this case, but it's more or less like that of arithmetic and tn we already know what it is is tn and then a b and c in this case they are just constant okay they are constant or they are just numbers all right okay so i will show you now how to identify a quadratic pattern how do you identify a quadratic pattern a quadratic pattern you identify it is the one that has a second a uh, common common uh, difference that's how you identify this one is the one that is a common difference so therefore let's say for an example you are given a pattern in the form of w x uh, y and therefore z therefore what would you do you would say x minus w will give you a number here let's call that number a then a, a y minus x will give you b and then a z minus y will give you c and therefore this is the first difference okay therefore this is this first difference all right therefore you would go ahead and continue and then you say b minus a it will give you d and then c minus a it will also give you d therefore this row here the last one is the second a uh, difference of the sequence which is so therefore the number here must be equal or they have it must be common all right and that's how you would deal with a question like this one most critical thing that you need to remember when it comes to quadratic question is that if they were to ask you to find a general formula this is what you need to know in this case you need to know that the last number here 2a is equals to d and therefore 3a 
plus b it equals to this a here and therefore also the lastly plus b plus c it equals to w all right my learners were asking me where do these things come from these things are standard guys in case they ask you to find a general formula of a quadratic pattern please you must know this by heart all right you must know that 2a it will be equals to whatever number that we have there at d and therefore 3a plus b it will be equals to whatever number we have there at a and then a plus b plus c is equals to whatever number that we have there at w these things guys will help you to find the general formula of a quadratic pattern this one will help you to find a this one will help you to find b this one will help you to find c after that you're gonna substitute them into the general equation all right i hope i'm clear guys but if you want to see more videos and you also want to see an example that has something to do with quadratic pattern or quadratic sequence please stay tuned and watch the video that i linked here on top it should be able to take you to more examples of quadratic pattern i am gaston mapala let me see you on the next upload where we'll be doing more examples of linear sequence and quadratic sequence